Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to get into a video on how I start my applications and stuff like that from an idea to developing that idea a little bit more. Um, later on, we're going to start coding for it, but right now we're just getting the idea, trying to, trying to get it on paper. So as far as things goes, um, I want to mention my voice is trying to give out. If it does, then sorry, and I'll just redo the video some other time um but if it doesn't then you know bear with it please but anyways as far as the application what i want to do is make a augmented reality application and um when i make applications programs or anything like that um these are personal programs if, if a company comes out to me they come out to me with a problem and i either have a solution for them or they already have a solution I just need to develop on their solution. Um, and that's either working for a company full time or freelance or, or part time. But um, it doesn't matter if you're a freelance, a contractor or not. <clears throat> it, it, it's the same. Either a company comes up to, to you with a, a solution or not. But you just have to implement it. They already come up with a problem. The difference doing from company to personal is you got to find a problem yourself and the specific problem that i'm trying to solve is when you put sprinkler line systems electrical line systems or other type of line systems underground the ground hills up and you can easily forget where you place them if you took pictures it's very difficult to to uh, figure out where they are placed so when you come back and you need to um you need to dig in that area you don't know how close um you you are or whatever may be maybe a fence maybe something else is going to be to that item so you might nick them uh without realizing it or it might cause some other problems so what I want to do is have it, and, and this is the first thing I do on, on here. Uh, basically, I have the problem, the solution is going to be making an Android application. So what I do is I start with uh, OneNote. It could be OneNote, Evernote, whatever it may be for you. But for me, it's OneNote. And um, what I'm going to do is just uh, make one page being function. That's all that page is for. So real quick, we put in what this application is going to do. So basically what the application is going to do is th this will allow the person to see the water lines electrical Etc. <clears throat> under ground using AR and maps. So basically, the person they're able to go and use an augmentative reality function. And for those of you who don't know what that means, which hopefully you do, but if you don't, basically all that means is the camera. You use a camera function. So, so the person sees the real world through the camera and the automated reality is a overlay on which on the camera so uh, sometimes the automated reality interacts with the real world sometimes it doesn't um, the, I don't have a uh, Tango phone uh, Tango phone is Google's new Android stuff for automated reality. It has like lasers on the phone, double cameras, stuff like that. Uh, so the phone can tell distance, shapes, and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to be developing it for basic stuff. And then we're going to go into the Tango environment because I think um, we can get, okay, this is a land, this is, you know, flat area because. If you, if you take a camera and, and, and give it to a computer, especially something like this, it's not going to tell what, what's ground, or at least I don't think we can get it where it, it says this is ground. 
But um, what we can do with Tango is say this is ground and go from there. So, um, or at least that's what, what I think what we can do. I never played with argument reality before um, as far as making an application with it. And Tango is so new that, um, you know, who knows what it can do on its full scale. So anyways, as far as that goes, we got a solution. We just need to now make the functions for it. So what I need to do is simply just number them off. So, so the one of the functions is going to be GPS. And the person can walk the line. And... Uh, map out the underground <coughs> line so basically by having GPS you can literally just walk the line and um, that means that we're need, gonna need a button that starts a button that pauses a button that uh, stops simple as that maybe even a way to edit so let's actually add that pause stop and edit so you screw up you know the thing can be edited fairly easily we're gonna need a map This is the person can see the lines by the map. They are the person <coughs> can they are maybe use. colors for types maybe even allow a person to pick their own colors <coughs> we need an export feature Dropbox Google Drive etc share and 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 that's just gonna be something that I got to figure out so to make that stand out do something like that <coughs> and um I think that's about it. I might add some later on. So, as far as that goes, what we need to do is now start another page and just do layouts. And this is front layouts, uh, maybe main. So, this is going to be like the um, main area when a person just. <coughs> jumps in they will get a screen the um, from here what we can do is do something like a um, hamburger menu and then um, within the hamburger menu maybe they can do something like they can add more lines they can modify some something I, I gotta figure that one out and this is the thing that you gotta keep in mind when the you're creating applications is um it's it's best now to do your um, wireframes which this is what it's called uh you're you're basically 
trying to figure out the basic layout. It's, it doesn't have to look pretty. You just need to know, okay, this is the button's going to be down towards the bottom part or middle screen or whatever it may be. Um, that's a basic wireframe saying what that button's going to do, stuff like that. It's not to be looking pretty. It's not to, to do all this fancy stuff. It's simply to give you an idea. The fact is, is <clears throat> where, where I might say, oh, I'm going to have a hamburger menu. Well, it might not happen, and it might be simple buttons because, you know, it's, it's whatever. But it's best to approach this as practical. Uh, what would be the easiest for a person? So I don't think, I don't think having a person go through, oh, uh, something like, oh, crates, um, share, blah, blah, blah is a good idea uh, we need to keep it down to a single screen if possible uh, hamburger menu will allow that to some degree so what we can do is say something like um, Hammer menu um, if possible. buttons that that's a problem is I got to figure out what type of buttons that we're going to use so what type of functions are we going to aim for um first off we're going to do um let's see add a line um view lines Um, we don't want to delete lines from here we don't want to edit lines from here share we can use just that two three options it's not bad so note that the thing is is though um, maybe have it where if the person's already on view lines and <clears throat> then maybe not map so we can do map um contact contact me and um i think that'll be good yeah then that'll be good so basically what would end up happening well, actually, I got an idea. Have it where profile. So, like, what you can do is the person can save their lines per place then that's good enough so basically if um, I'm at say, say for example you're a construction person you're working on three houses you can have three profiles so each house has their own profile so you when you look at all the lines you don't see um, you know, three houses of lines there. You just have one house of lines right there. So I think that's good. I mean, this is probably going to be massively worked on over time. So we got to see. Sorry about that. The um, f by the way, for those of you wondering about 
uh, how I come across stuff to review. Unless if I buy it, that's how I get. It's all incoming. Well, it's mostly all incoming. Um, very rarely when I go and say, oh, can I review that? Most of the time, I add or I um, get it to me. Something like TubeBuddy, I asked. Uh, stuff like that. High end stuff, I asked. Um, but. 99% it comes in so yeah but anyways <laughs> going back to here um, so now we got a basic idea on this so what I want to do now is start developing this more and maybe put out a uh, thing here saying Probably not good if it be that color thing here showing the lines. So basically, my idea for this is this is about where the uh, lines are. Or the different lines. If there is no lines, button that uh, comes up. Asking a the uh, another to a showing how to work the app. So, so basically, <clears throat> what will come up is something like the following, if I can get the right color. So, something like this, where it says, do you want to make a line, or please add a line, or something like that. <clears throat> and another is the... Um, other thing, the uh, the uh, video. So let's go ahead and scroll down a bit more as a gimmick this to allow me to scroll down. So as far as this goes, it's going to add a line. So we have a good idea on what we're looking for. Let's push this down a bit more. And what we want to do is go ahead and add another layout. And what I'm thinking here is we're always going to have the hamburger menu. So that's always going to be a given. But what I'm thinking here is you will have... I, w I wonder if I can use a color wheel. Color, let's do, let's do, um, name up here. So what do you want to call it? Maybe a uh, type. Um, hidden thing so if the person sucks other then they can that will come down and do whatever I don't know we'll have to test that out um, let's do colors and a red 
green, blue, purple, whatever. Um, big button, start, pause. Uh, stop or edit. And edit. So, alright, so as far as this goes, what I want to do is say name. Then we're going to do Type if other then hidden shows version type because I doubt I'm going to think of all the stuff. So from here, it's color. You can use color wheel. Start, pause, stop, edit. See the thing is is I don't I don't know. How to edit. Because you might move a line or something like that. And um go from there. I need to put a little note out here. He hide pause. Maybe. So, hide. All right, so we have that again, minimalistic as possible. So what we now have is our main layout. So when the person first logs into the application, the person will be presented with a hamburger menu, which will give them options of profile, add new line, view current lines. I, I don't know, maybe that'll be hidden. Um, map, share, uh, contact me, and so on. Um, Here's, here's another option. If a person given line the AR map edit delete
do you want to delete? And what, what that is, is if a person actually hits delete, then it doesn't actually delete. It, it, it says, hey, do you want, are you sure you want to delete? And uh, then it goes from there. So, um, yeah, that. So, so basically, when a person goes and um, goes to the main page, they have those options. If uh, there's no lines at all on a given profile or a uh, at all, then it will ask them to make a line or show a video how to use an app. If it does have a line and the person clicks a given line, then it will give them the options of AR, map, editing, or deleting the line. Editing or adding a line, it will give them the following options. Probably fill in if it's already edited, so just fill in the spots. So name, the uh, type of line, color, um, some type of color wheel, uh, if, if possible. Um, and then for the thing is start, pause, stop, and editing. I don't know how to edit yet. I don't know. See, here's the thing is I don't know how the information is going to be stored. Um, how are you going to get the phone to actually say, okay, we got the GPS running. How are we going to get it to say, um, Where do you put coordinates? I'm, I'm thinking about uh, of a um, of a few things. Um, I got it in the back of my mind. It's not really a important thing for right now. In this, um, I just want to get the layout and basic understanding. Because basically, what happens here is if I jumped in feet first without getting this wire layout, what would end up happening is I would end up having to be plan this while I'm coding while I just come back here and, and do check marks say yep 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 I got that or I don't have that or I thought about having that but it didn't work out because of and go from there whereas if if I um, jumped in feet first then I wouldn't know what step to go to from one to the next it's very important and um as far as that goes, I might leave it at here. We're at 27 minutes now. Um, it's getting late, and um, and I need to get some sleep and whatnot. If you if you want to participate in this particular project or whatever it may be, then feel free to let me know. I'll see what I can do as far as GitHub and whatnot. Um, I, one thing I want to tell you right now is I, I would like to make money off of this particular project if possible. I might end up putting the stuff out there for free for people to, you know, play around with for resume material, but I might end up going ahead and just uploading the application on um, whatever in um, in um, charging 10 bucks or something for it that or make some in-app purchases probably probably more better is make in-app purchases um okay you put down one line all right for anything more than that you're gonna have to pay i i, I probably end up doing something like that and that won't be open source that won't be shown for obvious reasons or if if i can do it i don't know it depends on what i can show can't show. I've never done an in-app purchase type of thing before. <clears throat> but anyways, as far as that goes, uh, I'm just going to leave it like like it is right here. Again, it's getting really, really late, and I just want to get the basics out before I uh, forget about it it's because, you know, school will not get too much in my head. So as far as that goes, if anyone got any questions or anything else, then feel free to let me know in the comment section, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share, and please feel free to check out my other videos. And also, if you're on my coding channel, feel free to check out my main channel. If you're on my main channel, please feel free to subscribe to my coding channel. Anyways, see you next video, and I hope you have a great day. Oh, and uh, 
real quick, uh, GitHub link will be down below.